consider the problem maximize set which is equals to x1 plus 2x2 subject to the constraints minus x1 plus 2x2 less than or equals to 2 x1 plus x2 less than or equals to 5 x1 less than or equals to 3 x1 and x2 greater than or equals to 0 and the x1 and x2 being integers i'm going to solve this integer programming problem using the cutting plane method so given that problem there i will use a graphical approach i will draw my horizontal axis my vertical axis and then label them x1 and then x2 draw a grid with the integers there and then number them one to five and then draw the line which represents this constraint so that line there is this one here I draw the line which represents this constraint here and that line is this one here draw the line which represents this constraint x1 equals to 3 so i'll be drawing this line here and then you go on and uh, shade the feasible region the region which satisfies all the constraints so that region is this one here that i've highlighted in green I'll go on and uh, label the corner points of the feasible region we are having five of them so we have a b c d and e and the next step is to evaluate the objective function at the corner points of the feasible region so i will draw a table and then i put a point then we have x1 x2 the objective function z at the point a we are having x1 is 0, x2 is 0. So substitute uh, these values into the objective function, then we get our z is equal to 0. At point B, we have x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 0. And these values will give us uh, the z being equal to a 3. At point C, we are having our x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 2. Substitute these values into the objective function, we get our z is equal to 7. Now, looking at our point D there, point D is uh, the intersection of these two lines. So, to get uh, the coordinates of point D, we have to solve uh, these two simultaneously. And uh, we would have that at point D, our x1 is equal to 8 over 3, our x2 is 7 over 3. Substitute these values into the objective function and we get uh, our z is equals to 22 over 3. At the point E, we are having x1 is equals to 0 and x2 is equals to 1. Substitute these values into the objective function here, we get our z is equals to a 2. Our problem here is a maximization problem. So in this column, we choose the largest value of z and that largest value there is a 22 over 3. So what uh, that is saying is the solution is z is equal to 22 over 3, which occurs when x1 is equal to 8 over 3 and x2 equals to 7 over 3. But in this case, we are having the constraint that uh, the x1 and x2 are integers. So this solution is not integral. So we need to make a cut. That is the constraint which is satisfied by all feasible integer solutions but not by these current values which are not integer there so what we need to do is we look at the feasible region we look at the points which are closer to this point d the integer points on the feasible region that are closer to this point d are this one and this one here so i can use uh, the two points that i've highlighted to generate a cut so what you need to do is you draw another graph the constraints here they are still the same but uh, the cut now that i was saying it passes through this point and this point so i will draw this will be my cut so it will be removing that part of the feasible region which included that part which had uh, the non-integer values so our new feasible region where we have added that line which is uh, x2 equals to 2 the feasible region is this one here the corner points of that feasible region we have an a a b a c a d and an e now go on and evaluate the objective function at the corner points of the feasible region so i'll draw a table I have my point x1 
x2, then the z, and then the point a. At the point a, we are having x1 is 0, x2 is 0, z is, is 0. At point b, we are having x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 0. Substitute these values into the objective function and we get z is equal to 3. At point c, we are having x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 2. Substitute these values into the objective function and we get z is equal to 7. At the point d, we are having x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 2. Substitute these values into the objective function and we have z is equal to 6. At point E, we are having x1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 1. Substitute these values into the objective function and we have z is equal to 2. Our problem is a maximization problem, so we look for the largest value in this column. The largest value is the 7 here. So what we are having there is the optimal solution is z is equal to 7 which occurs when x1 equals to 3 and x2 equals to 2. I'm saying optimal solution just because it's now having integer values of x1 and x2 as required by this constraint here. So that's the optimal solution for the given integer programming problem.